Hello friends, today I have a twofold purpose for making this video. Number one, I want to help us that are Christians to be a greater and effective witness for the glory of God. I'm reminded of the words of the Lord Jesus Christ himself in Acts chapter number one, verse number eight, where the Lord spoke and said, but you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and the uttermost parts of the earth. So today, friends, I feel like as Christians, born again believers, believers in the Son of God, that we need to be a more vital and more effective witness for the glory of God. So I want to make this video for us today, but also there may be someone listening in today that is not a Christian, or maybe you're out of the will of God or not where you need to be with the Lord. I want to show you the simple plan of salvation, and I want to say today I realize that the lies of the devil tries to convince us uh, that we must wait until we can live a better life before we surrender our life to the Lord Jesus, or that we must lay down a few bad habits before that we surrender our life to the Lord Jesus Christ. But I want you to know today, friend, uh, that you and I cannot live the Christian life on our own, and if we could, we wouldn't need Jesus. So today, amen, we're not able to live the Christian life, but he that lives in our heart empowers us and gives us the ability to live the Christian life. So today, friend, I want you to understand as we draw your attention to the book of Romans, amen, that it's very vital and very important that us as Christians become a greater and a more effective witness for the glory of God. And if you're lost or backslidden or out of the will of God, I want to show you the simple plan of salvation. And if the Lord is dealing with your heart, my advice to you is simply just to surrender your all to Him. Romans chapter number 1 states plainly that the Gentiles have sinned. So in Romans chapter number 1, we see clearly that the Gentiles have sinned. But then in Romans chapter number 2, we also see that the Jews have sinned. So in Romans chapter number 1, we see that the Gentiles have sinned, but then in Romans chapter number 2, we see that even the Jews also have sinned. So uh, with that in mind, Romans 1, the Gentiles have sinned, Romans 2, the Jews have sinned, but then in Romans chapter number 3, we have that famous verse in 23, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So first of all, we must admit and realize that we are lost and that we are sinners, but then in Romans chapter number 5, verse number 8, the scripture states, but God God, and I love those two words in Romans chapter number 5 verse 8 but God committed his love towards us and that while we were yet sinners Christ died for us then we move on to Romans chapter number 6 verse 23 for the wages of sin is death but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord so the consequence of sin is death but I want you to know the results of, uh, of the gift of God is salvation and eternal life and then in Romans chapter number 7, we see a clear portrait of the law and sin. In Romans chapter number 7, we see a clear picture of the law and sin. But then in Romans chapter number 8, we see a clear picture of grace and salvation. So in Romans chapter number 7, we have the law and we have sin. But in Romans chapter number 8, we have grace and we have salvation. And then finally, I'm reminded of the scriptures in Romans chapter number 10, verses 9 and 10. The scripture said that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. And then Romans 10 verse 13, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That includes everybody and excludes nobody. So today, friend, if you're not yet a Christian and the enemy's been trying to attack you and trying to get you uh, to not turn your life to the Lord <laughs> Jesus Christ, I just want to encourage you to make the best decision of your life and surrender your all to Christ. As I say so often, if you will do that, the rest of your life can be the best of your life. And for us that are saved, I think it's very vital and very important that we become familiar and maybe even memorize these verses that I have just quoted to you today in order to be a greater and a more effective witness for the glory of God. So I trust that this video has been a blessing to you today, and I pray that this video, that we can glean something that will help us in days to come from the words of God. So may God bless you, and we just appreciate each and every one of you today. And I want you to understand, I didn't give you my opinion or my thoughts upon this. I clearly gave you the scriptures and the word of God concerning 
concerning the gift of salvation for the lost and for the sinner and for us that are saved, I clearly showed us how that we can be a more effective witness. For no doubt, the Lord wants us to be a great witness for His glory and for His honor, as I quoted earlier, Acts 1 verse 8. But you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and the uttermost parts of the earth. So I trust this video has been a blessing to you today, and may God bless you is our prayer.